welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome to the unboxing of this large box of the monochrome 1200 scale Yamato. Okay, so this was just released this year and I'm lucky enough to have got one quite early than I expected. So in this video, what we're going to do is, obviously I haven't opened this at all, I'm about to open it for the first time, this will be a full unboxing. We'll, we'll take a look at, um, well first we'll get it out of here. Um, in this video we'll, we'll take a look at um, everything inside, all the individual boxes, um, we'll go through the instructions, we'll go through the uh, everything including the photo etch. I'll actually photograph the photo etch and put pictures up on the channel so you can actually see exactly what you're getting. We'll go through all the sprues. I'm not sure how many. I do know there's about is it 2,000 parts, something like that to it. We'll go through all of that with the main idea and the main intent of this video is for you to know what you're getting if you decide you want to build this kit because when you look at retail websites and um, when you're trying to purchase this you, the information and the photos you see are basically pretty pretty basic you know you don't you don't see anything so this will be a video where if you got the idea that you want to build this um, then this is the video you want to, you need to watch because you'll see all the detail of exactly what you get from this kit. All right, so I guess I better start. Okay, let's open this up. Um, let me just start by saying this: how long this is. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I have a tape measure to measure the box and we have just manages to reach 144 centimeters. And for those of you in inches, that is 56 and a half inches long. Okay, um, and just for the record, this way it is 46 centimeters or 18 inches and we've got this way is 16 centimeters which is just over nearly six and a half inches all right now at the time right now this costed cost me um, it was 680.89 Australian dollars. So I'll put the conversion up on the screen in British pound, US dollars and Euro and see what it cost. It actually cost me about 702, including postage. Okay. Which quite amazed me because I live in Sydney, Australia. And this was ordered from Metro Hobbies. Give thumbs up for them. Fantastic. We'll give them a shout out. Uh, Metro Hobbies in Melbourne. Um, they let me know it was available. I rang up. I paid for it. And it was literally here the next day. Absolutely incredible. All right. So. Let's open this up. Slide out, looks like. Yep. 
Okay, here we go. And I managed to get it the right way around too. Huge box. All right. There we go. I hope that's all fitting in there in the view. <laughs> but uh, massive hay. All right. Beautiful artwork on there. The aircraft there. Really looks incredible. You got the same picture on this end. On here, we can turn this around. It is a top-down view. Look at that incredible, incredible ship. And here on the side, we have those. So here's where we got all our photo etch side view of it there there's our two float planes there's actually four in here apparently um, photo etch excellent okay so on here we got by monochrome plastic model kit um, I'm gonna have to turn around this way so I can read it one two hundred scale uh, Imperial Japanese Navy battleship Yamato. Um, super fine model, ship model. Item number is A140. Parts. Okay, here we go. So parts, it says there's 2,800 plus pieces. Um, photo etch parts included. The length is 1,315 millimeters and the beam is 194 millimeters. This was a especially wide ship, um, which I'll mention um, as we look at it in more detail, but compared to the other British uh, American ships, most all the American ships had to be built, they had a limit, I think it was 118 feet Across the beam because they had to fit through the Panama Canal. This ship didn't need to, so they didn't have that restriction. Um, so this could be a lot wider, and it was, but I, I'll find out and let you know exactly how wide this ship was. But because of the widths of the ship, um, it had to have, it was a bit, that would have made it uh, a bit slower through the water. So they came up with the bow, the bulbous bow on the front, and it was designed in such a way that it um, caused uh, the water in the front to be displaced across outwards so that it wouldn't uh, create drag. And that's how this thing managed to have quite a high speed as well. Um, but there's lots of facts we'll go into. I've been watching the documentaries and it's incredible. All right. So, let me just put that aside. Let's have a look inside the box. I'll turn it around again. All right, there you go. Okay, take it up. We'll just get this out of the way. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so first of all, it's quite a substantially heavy. Looks like the instructions are in here. There's decals in here. I think we'll get to that in more detail later when we move to the bench. Um, 
we might as well, first of all, let's have a look at the hull. I mean, let's get this hull out. And have a look. Because this I hear is fairly unique as well, due to the overall size of it. Look at that. So, Okay, so look at that. That looks amazing. It actually has metal supports inside. So, so these have come off the end here. Just slide out. Look at that. see the metal braces in there as well as the other um, plastic ones in there just to keep the shape of this is just incredible we've got some foam around here to protect it and there's there's another two more metal braces in under that which I think I'll be able to take this off just turn this around, look at the length of it. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And I can already see the detail. Look at that, all the portholes along there, all the metal plating. Absolutely amazing, beautiful. So I'm gonna take some of this off here. We'll just have a better look. wide that is. It's incredibly wide. All right. Amazing, that is. And what I also just noticed is that all the metal detail, all the detail actually goes right underneath. So I'll turn it up and I hope you can see that all under here is all detailed as well. Really nice. I can't get over how wide this thing is. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so I'll put these ends back in. <laughs> there we go. There's one here. That one there. Just back in the box. So we'll just go through the boxes individually now, briefly, but then I'll, we'll get over to the bench and uh, we'll have a proper look at what this will have in here. There you go. All right, so let's have a look here first. So we've got boxes are lettered. This is box E. Don't know what that is, what this could be. Let's find out. Uh, okay. So here we've got some Looks like parts of the superstructure there. More parts of that superstructure. More little bits. So, don't know what they are. <laughs> These parts here, they look like supports of some sort. No idea. Okay. 
more bits. Make sure what's in there. Pop that back. Start box A down the end here. <laughs> there we go. They've got the same design on the front here. Looks really nice. Alright. So they look like uh, guns. Gun bases on there and there. Uh, there's a big superstructure part there. We will go through all this in later, later in more detail. I just want to check. There's quite a lot of sprues. Oh, there's some really. That's bubble wrap. So that's well protected. Some finer parts in there. All nicely bubble wrapped, very well packed. Uh, that's got some boats in there as well, some life boats. Some of these are protected here with um, foam over them, so that's well done, that's good. Put that back in on the top there. Those back there. Trick is to get things back as they were, eh? Hey? Alright, so that's that box A. B. Put that in there. And again, there's another good shot of the side profile of the ship on there. It's nice. There's quite a bit of weight in this one. It's maybe where the photo edge is. Um, there's some turrets in here. There's some puffs, again, bubble wrapped. There's a large section here of some deck. Uh, more bubble wrap. Uh, here we go. We've got some photo edge here, some brass barrels under here, lots of photo edge in the bottom of here. Boy, that's heavy stuff. <laughs> nice, good quality photo edge it looks like. So, the weight in that is just amazing. Um, so there the main turret looks like um, barrels. I'm guessing there'll be more of those because there's only four there. We'll see. I don't know. No turrets on this. But uh, yeah, that, that's great. I'll leave those on here. Um, I'll put that back. So that was in box B. That there. Sheets of photo etch. And like I said, I will photograph these and put them up so you'll be able to, you know, go to the video, freeze it, and you'll see exactly that. That is really thick photo etch on this. That's fantastic. Um, so there's two in there. There's two in there. there. Seems to be two in everything. So there's two, four, six. So there's all your railings, eight more railings in there. There's anchor chain in the bottom of that one. Photo etch. Look at that, more photo etch. <laughs> and more photo etch. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 sheets of photo etch and some barrels there. How about that? All right. That over here, and there's got
got to be like a kilo there, eh? Two pound weight there. All right, let's have a look in box C. And there's another nice photograph on the side. Box C. All right, plastic. <laughs> Looks like part of the funnel in there. There's a bit of decking in there. There's all lifeboats in here. Here we've got the name plant, looks like. Oh, it's an, an empty one. I don't know what that is. There's another box under here. Wow. So this is bubble wrapped. It's probably got aerials and stuff like that. They've put that in a protective bit of cardboard over the top. That's great. And here we've got clear parts, which are the aircraft, looks like. Yep. There's two in each. There's four sprues of the aircraft in there. That's fantastic. We'll put that back in. Keep that protected. That's good. That's good how they've done that. Put these back on here. All right. That's box C. Then we have box D down here. And there's a nice top down view of the ship, along with a nice view there. And in here, let's have a look. This would probably be the deck, so imagine. Wow. Okay. I won't take it out because I want to be able to get it back in, but there's... The deck looks like it's in two pieces. Actually, there we go, it's out. There's nothing else in there. Uh, so there's our deck. We'll, we'll be having a close look at the detail on that later. Slide that back in. Amazing. Alright. Back on. That back. Everything back in its place. Oops. This I'll put that away safely, and uh, and all this will go through. All right, so that's what's in the box. Um, fantastic. So what I'll do now is we'll switch to my um, model bench, and uh, we'll go and have a look through at more detail of all these parts and stuff. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm sure you will be when you are uh, opening up uh, this model, this, especially this scale, look at that, huge. All right, be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So, now that we're back on the bench, we can put stuff on here that I can, I've got room for. Um, first of all, photo etch. There's lots of photo etch, as you can see. And uh, all these packets, uh, they have more on the other side as well. Okay. Um, now, what I'll do, what I've done, is I've photographed all of these. And uh, I'll put them all up now, and you'll be able to see them play through. So if you want to have a look in more detail, you can freeze the video and watch it and have a look and see uh, some of the detail. I think I counted 15, there were 15 sprues. Um, a lot of them are of the same thing on each side, but obviously they'll all get used, that's for sure.
All right, so um, I'll let that play through. Uh, there's also a picture of the um, uh, propeller shafts, which you've got four of, brass rods, and, and I've also got a photograph there of the paint call out, which is, uh, yeah, something very handy if people want to have a look and see uh, exactly what the paint you'll need. You'll see that it shows the uh, full range there. So, yeah. Okay. Now, we are going to go through and have a look at some of the sprues, um, but not all of them because I think I count there's about 50 of them. <laughs> that's, that's a hell of a lot. So we'll look at the main things, the turrets, the deck, and so forth, and, and have a look at a few of them. But yeah, 50. Huh. All right, but in the meantime, we'll just have a look at what came in the kit here. So we've got this one here, which shows um, your flags and where they go. This came in the kit. So that's a handy little reference there. Um, we also have, uh, you saw the paint reference Pull out. We also have this, which nicely shows our painting guide. That's including the aircraft up here, and uh, it's also numbering showing the decals. Is showing the decals on here as well. I think there's a couple on one or two on the funnel. There's one on the uh, stern of the ship, looks like, and. Um, yeah, just a few around, but there's that. It's very nice. We also have decals, which are in here, which I won't open them, but you can pretty much see there's just a few, the red spots and other bits and pieces. Mostly they're all for the aircraft. I think they all are actually. There's numbers of the aircraft that you probably can't see there, but yeah, those. There was also this little package here, which also is called Decal. Right, so open that up, and we will have uh, all right, and there we go. So there's some flags in there. Very nice. Oh, nice to see how they put those separately and protect it in that little cardboard sleeve in their own little bag. All right. So that brings us on to the instructions. Okay, there it is. The 1200 Battleship Yamato instructions. Now, to start with, there are 92 pages. <laughs> now, we'll, we'll briefly skim through this and um, just take a look what we got. I'm just going to adjust the camera up so we can see this 
a little bit better. Be back in a second. Okay, now um, they're all uh, quite glossy, the pages. Um, so it's going to be, I'll try and do my best to stop the glare. Uh, I've got it angled up a little bit, so that should help. Okay, so we start here. We've got some basically not for children under 14 years, not for inexperienced modelers. Um, glue and paint not included, the usual. There's the little key to what the different meanings we'll find throughout the instructions mean. Example, make whole, cut, remove, um, decal, so forth. Now we've got, first of all, parts. We go into the parts, and here we have our um, the hull. We've got one, two, three decks to make up the top deck here. That's another deck in the back here. Some more bits and pieces, a nameplate. Um, they look like the turrets on there, not sure. I'm afraid due to my lack of experience, I won't be able to name a lot of these parts, but basically just so you can see what you'll be getting if and when you purchase this. <laughs> all right, so we've got all these. Like I said, there's probably about 50 sprues uh, all, all up including the aircraft. Then we have photo etch. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But there's two of those, two of those, two of them, four of them. So there's about 15. We've got propeller shaft. There was a chain uh, there as well. It's just your common basic chain and your decal sheet. Okay. So we go over to step one. Now, to give you an, a hint, this ends on step 117, okay? But we're just going to whip through this and look at the build progress that uh, that we got to do this. Another thing to mention is there's no separate instructions for the photo etch, which I believe is a good thing because it's all in here as you go. You don't have to refer to the a separate sheet um, and try not to miss uh, where these go and, this, and trying to coordinate your build. As you go through here, your photo etch goes on in that order. It's going to be so much better. So here we go. Here's the boats. So they go through there, and as you can see, they tell you photo etch, bend. I guess that they're not going to show really detailed instructions on the bending. We'll see as we go. This is my first time looking at this as well. So I'm seeing it straight up as you are. There's quite little details on here. We even got prop shafts and props that go on this. This looks like maybe the captain's launch, going by the size of it. Uh, so there's four of those to make one of those. That's in step two there. Uh, then we go straight on to building the aircraft, get those out of the way. Mitsubishi and the Archie, Archie, I'm not sure how you pronounce that one. Uh, but yeah, that, that looks good. So we make two. Uh, I'm not sure how many aircraft we actually have to make. I think it might be four. So here we are onto the hull, uh, telling you to make sure that the screws on those metal braces are neither too tight nor too loose. So just check those. Um, here we go with uh, one of the deck deck sections are going on top. They're already saying here to make a hole. Um, just in typical um, trumpeter sense of uh, instructions, which is sort of, I think, where these this build is from. Um, they don't tell you the size of any holes. They just say make hole. You've got to figure that out. Anyway, so these look like the um, catapult photo etch site launch part of the um, structure for that. They're the runners. Oh, yes, they're the runners that go on the deck for the catapult launch in, there for the, in photo etch. There they are there. There's some more pieces going on here on the side. So that's that gap in the the side of the hole that we saw 
um, step eight already. Uh, more, there's some ladders going in there. Uh, more pieces. I will say that a lot. And here we go. Here, as you can see, lots of make holes. Looks like there's probably about 50 holes that need to be made on these two sections of the deck. Again, doesn't tell you what size they are. So test fit your pieces that are going to need those holes before you go drilling them because the idea is they want these drilled in there before your deck goes down, which is happening in step 10 here. The deck's going on there. Right, we're underneath the hole now, putting the, um, we've got the rudder going on. I noticed no photo etch on the rudder. Uh, there's our props and screws or propellers, I call them propellers, uh, propeller shafts uh, going on. Here we have lots of little superstructure parts underneath that platform similar to what like an aircraft carrier would have uh, and they're saying do that on both sides that is not photo etched by the looks of it it's just uh, plastic parts and here we have yeah everything PE and then a letter and number will be photo etched again this is all photo etched going on here part of the um, aircraft launch catapult Lots more photo etch going on. The deck. Uh, again, more. Uh, just saying bend and do both sides. So you've got your little arrow saying that you do both sides in that step. There's our little platform that the aircraft sit on, it looks like. Um, these bits going on the side of the deck. Let me know in the comments what they are. They look like sort of a pipe running down. Not sure. There's obviously a lot of them. More there, more there. There's your anchor going on already. <clears throat> I would probably hold off on the anchor. Um, but anyway, uh, more of these. What are they? Let me know, guys. Don't know. Uh, more and we're up on the deck up on the uh, front here on the foredeck All right uh, so yeah, still going on we're up to step 26 to 28 here lots of little boxes getting placed on the deck nice no photo edge in these sections, more boxes. Uh, there's a bit of photo etch there. Um, don't know what they are, but that looks... Oh, that's where the anchor chains go down through. So, good. Nice photo etch, nice detailed touch there. Uh, more hatches on there. Lots of little bits in there. Uh, here we go with the platforms for the guns, some of the guns to go on, starting to go on, which this ship had a lot of. This was the world's largest and most powerful battleship. And unfortunately, there's not a great deal of um, reference photos. There's only a handful of photos in existence. Um and only a few drawings of the original ship. But I would suggest, and I'm going to do this, is to buy the uh, anatomy of the ship and get the um, one for the Yamato, because that would be invaluable. Um, fantastically 3D rendered stuff, photos on that. So I'm going to order that. Um, so here we've got some more parts going on here with photo etch, more photo etch. There's some little turrets of some smaller guns there. Uh, I was just thinking the propeller. Um, I was watching a documentary that one blade of the of the propeller 
is five meters long. Massive. <laughs> There's lots of photo etch here being put together. Um, they've even got parts for the anchor here, which is strange because I did show putting that anchor on earlier. Uh, this must be a different anchor. All right, so there's an anchor down at the stern. This this is different. This is at the, at the bow. Okay, gotcha. All right, more here. More bits going on. Uh, we've got ladders going on the sides here. This is part of the uh, superstructure we're working on here. Uh, more gun platforms going on there. Um, I was also noticing there were 3,332 sailors on board this and only 260 survived when she was sunk by the torpedoes dropped from the aircraft. Incredible. Um, a huge loss of life on ships during the war, wasn't there? I mean, <laughs> I mean, where can you go? You know, your ship's going to go down. Is you know, you're surrounded by the ocean, aren't you? And the sharks. All right. So, more of these going on in preparation for guns. That's good. This is obviously made up as an individual piece off the ship. Some photo etch going on there now. It's like railings, a few small railings. Uh, they've got more photo etch in here, like little supports. Yeah, more in there. Uh, here we go, building up lots of guns. Oh, there you are. It looks like a part of the radar unit. Don't correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm going to be wrong in a lot of places. <laughs> We're up to step 51 here. More of the superstructure going on. This is the bridge area by the looks of it. I just saw the windows. Quite tall, this um, structure. The way the Japanese built these ships, just like, like nothing else, wasn't it? Lots of detail in there. Lots of photo etch. It's going to look fantastic. Looks like the ship's horn there. Everywhere you look, there's guns on this thing. More. Lots of all the binoculars at the top there, so you can look out. I noticed on the the, um, the main uh, guns, this could fire uh, a shell 25 miles. All right. But the, also the incredible part is they had to launch a spotter aircraft to be able to see over the horizon so they could target those guns because of the distance. Because they couldn't actually see what they were shooting at. They needed spotter planes to to go up and, uh, and uh, call out the coordinates for the, for the big turret guns. Incredible. So there's ladders going on the top of this as well. Photo etch, more, more. More bits there. Lots. There we go. So that whole section there is going on top of that piece of superstructure now. Some railings. Uh, we've got some aerials going up. There's a couple little spotlights there. There you go, they will all go down onto that section of the deck. Looking good. Now we're on to another section, looks like the funnel. Yep, funnel's being put together here. Very good. Um... They're yeah, like the usual, you get the photo etch all around that. They come up looking really nice. Lots of pieces. Look at all the piping going along the side of this. Amazing. There it is there, complete. We've got spotlights going on the around the base of it. 
and then that whole piece gets dropped down on top between the last two uh, structures that were built. And we got uh, more photo etch. They're squeezing in there as well. The railings going onto it. There's a nice good shot of everything there. More ladders. Lots of railings going in amongst the bits and pieces there. It's going to be fun to try and paint, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Uh, looks like I'm not sure what those are. Probably more structural supports of some sort. They're plastic, not um, same on here. Plastic, not photo etch. Okay, so we've got to make two of these radar units, make two of these, like little turrets there, another two where they position down. We've got more anti-aircraft guns here. We've got to make six of these and another six, that's 12. And then where they go on both sides. Certainly a fortress. Um, there's eight more little turret guns there. Uh, make 20. That's a good one. 20 aircraft, anti aircraft guns to be built there. Um, showing where they go down on here. These, you, they do have some photo etch on them. Uh, but I'm wondering, maybe you could get some aftermarket in the future of these guns uh, to build up completely. That would be, you know, well, for 28 of them, it could be expensive. <laughs> okay, more railings going down on both sides. The nice, the pictures are really nice and clear too, which is good. And there we go. So this whole superstructure is going down on the deck. Then we're making up more uh, Gun turrets, there's four there. Locations for them on the deck. More smaller guns on deck, little machine guns there. Lots of them, yep. I think they're the ones we built earlier. Would have, there's uh, eight, 16 of these little, these turret Obviously all anti-aircraft guns, more places on deck. Now we're on to the main turret. So we've got to make some holes in the top. Um, there is photo etch going on them. They should look really nice there. There's our uh, gun barrels, which are not um, photo etch. Uh, they're not brass, they're plastic. So maybe you could go an option and get brass ones we'll see um, there's also like railings around the top of these uh, <coughs> lots more pieces going on these fantastic these things these turrets I saw in also in this documentary weighed more than an entire American destroyer each each one weighed more than an entire American destroyer. <laughs> Just unbelievable the size of it. Look at that. Ladders going up. Lots more photo etch. They should look really nice. Still going with photo etch on these. Mate 2. They even had guns on top, platforms and guns on top of the turrets themselves. And there they are, finally going on the deck in step 106. Now we've got uh, railings. So we are putting all the railings on the ship here. That's good. Um, again, more railings, I think. Yep. Um, there we go on the bow here. Bits going on. 
All these going on for lifeboats. Very good. Railings are one of those things that I usually leave to the very, very end. Um, lots of photo etch going on the catapult. Oh, there's a crane here. So we've got a nice crane to build up with photo etch. Uh, that's good. The actual main structure of his photo etch rather than some I've seen where they have that as plastic, but then there's photo etch to stick on to it. Whereas this is actually, most of this is all made of photo etch. Fantastic. Look at that. There's even a pin there and a washer on the other side so this looks like it can rotate up and down and I would say maybe you could turn as well yeah uh, so that goes down on the deck uh, the catapult we're onto the catapult here so both of those will go down on there very good and that's the end of that. Instant. And there you go. Your ship is built just like that. <laughs> All right. Now let's have a look at some of the plastic. Okay. I'll just grab a box and we'll have a look. Right. So let's start with box A. So all these parts in here are all turrets. And there's couple of different sizes there's quite a few of those all right we also have some really fine um the antennas and everything are in here very well protected by a bubble the bubble wrap um more in there i also noticed the propellers are in there as well and they're quite a big size aren't they I'm not going to take them out. Yeah, I'll leave these things in the bubble wrap as they are. Okay, let's put that aside. Um, now, these parts here are protected by a little extra layer of foam. Not sure what they are under there, but I do see some hatch hatchways. And these are these tubs. I guess you, there's probably a better name for them. Go around where the guns go. Couple, watch out, there's even a couple of little turrets on the end there, too. So, and there's for the same thing of those. There's our main superstructure base. Looking quite good. Let me just take that out of the plastic and move this box, and we'll have a better look at it. Okay, so I've changed the background a bit, so hopefully things will look a bit clearer. So you can see here there's really nice detail on this. We've got some vents in here. Uh, there's some portholes, which probably would be best to drill out. Um, nice detail around the side here. Over the top, nice. Uh, yeah, really nice and clean. No flashing anywhere there's, that I can see. And there's not going to be any cleanup that I've come across that looks really good. Okay, so that's that main superstructure see what else we have in this box uh, okay. uh, there's just some platforms in there this looks like the rudder yeah there's our rudder in there nice quite thick in fact that's two halves of it it looks extremely thick <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, there's our supports for the propeller shafts. That's good. Um, what else do we have? This looks 
like uh, more parts going to go on top of the superstructure. Nice. Here's uh, our funnel. Yeah, parts to the funnel there. Top. Looks good. Nice detail on those. Some of the piping goes on the side. Um, have more features there, which is again sections for guns to sit on platforms. Down the bottom here we have lifeboat, or probably the captain's launch. That looks nice. Detail in that. And the deck, smaller boat there. Some small pieces there. There's the supports that they sit on in the deck, which I thought would. Would have been photo etch. They may be, I don't know, maybe on the photo, maybe photo, maybe photo etch has replaced these. Something I'm not too sure about is if the photo etch is replacing any of the plastic or it's additional. So if that's there in plastic, then they won't be there in photo etch. All right, so that's main parts in box A which is the superstructure captain's boat and some very fine stuff and all the turrets let me go grab the other box okay so now we're into box B and that looks like a platform that sits on the deck two halves of it where all your guns are going to mount in there there's some more uh, frames around and platforms. In here we also have the actual turrets. So there's some smaller guns in there, little anti-aircraft guns on that. Again, let me move this box aside and we'll have a look at one of these turrets. Okay, so here's one of our three turrets. Um, Looks really nice. You can see the detail in there. See all the little rivets, spots around there, especially around here. Looks really nice. Very clean. Yeah, that, that's going to build up really nice with the photo etch and everything. There's our the base of it, the underside, which is like that. Obviously that's inside, so that'll be for position, position, positioning the cannons, which are here. And they're really nicely detailed. Look at that. Whoops, what's happened to my video? There we go. So they're really nicely detailed along there. Um, good thing about these is they're hollow as well. They've been drilled out. There's the blast bags side they i'm not sure they that'd be the inside so these will slot into these that's good and uh these must be the uh little gun turrets that go on top of uh these big turrets or the platforms gun pl platforms so and there's three of those sprues but yeah then they look nice look at the size of it <laughs> you know Massive. One two hundred scale. All right. Now, also in this box, pop that back in the bag. Apparently, just before they fired these, there'd be a um, sailors on deck with bugles that they would blast out to warn people that they're about to fire these 
these guns and then everybody would block their ears <laughs> and, uh, and and grab something because apparently you could get thrown up to three meters as the ship shifted when it was firing all right so here we've got more um bubble wrap a couple other uh current guns some big, bigger anti-aircraft guns there Again, this is all protected in here, so that's really good of them. Uh, lots of parts. There's some guns there. The bases of the turrets. Put them aside. Um, what else we got? Here's a large section. Very large section of the deck. Looks like part of the stern. Plating and that looks nice. That let's see, yeah, won't open that up, but you can see that really nice through there. Good. And then uh, just two more of the last one I showed you with, uh, with those turret guns, and. Uh, smaller guns it's just just this thing is just guns it's just a platform of guns all right um let me go to the next box which will be box c okay now we're looking in box c and of course more guns uh here we go with the funnel so there's a nice detail on there Lots of rivets running up and down that. Feel those. Really nice. A uh, little bit of flashing on the bottom of that one. That's all right. Might just take this one out of the plastic and we'll have a look what else is in the box. I'm just going to pop this one open. Oh, I need sharper scissors. Okay. All right. Bring the camera down a bit. Hang on a sec. Okay, so there's a view of our funnels. Nice. You can see the detail on those. Very good. Oops. Camera's going to play up a bit. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at what else is in this box. Okay, so we've got the four deck here. The detail on that, so all the checker plate. It's going to look really nice. Very all the way, all through here, all raised. Yeah, that's going to look beautiful. Okay. Now, also in this box, I'll put that back, is some more boats. Uh, we've got all these boats in here. Quite nice. Very detailed as well. The hulls look nice. The decks look good. Yeah. I won't take them out. I don't know what they are there. Oh, there's a. Looks like the little tops of the boats. Got windows in there. Probably worth drilling out. Um, also, in here we have the plaque for the name, which doesn't have the name on it. So, curious what that's going to be. I didn't, there's no decal for it. Hmm. Anyway, um, in this box also, you would have seen earlier, it's got that section that's protected in the bottom of it, where we've got some really fine stuff all bubble wrapped in here. The aircraft are in here, they're all clear plastic. <laughs> 
aircraft. I know you can't see them, but I'm going to leave those like they are. Um, these are like little aerials and antennas in that. I'll keep them back in there. All right. And we'll just grab the next box, which would be D, but that's the decks. We'll look at that afterwards. We'll go skip to box E, which is just this small box here. Uh, and have a look at what's in there. And some of the, these look like all sorts of box pieces. Uh, they look like the little... Um, parts of the catapult there's some superstructure there there's some, there's the bridge area which is, uh, interesting if that's a bridge has like one window all the way around like that interesting uh, more parts of the catapult I'm guessing got uh, more bits of the superstructure there. Yeah, nice part of the radar. Uh, possibly turrets or something or other. Uh, more of the same. And then in here we got got... Uh, not sure what they are. I uh, don't know what those are, but they are what they are, <laughs> and there's a lot of them. That was all in that box. Let's go have a look at the decks now in box, what was it, D, back in a sec. Okay, now, due to the size of the ship and these decks, the best way to show these, and I will take them out of the bag, is to go back to my camera phone over on my coffee table where I can get a better look like we did at the hull. Okay, so I'll do that up, do that, and we'll be back in a second. Hang in there. Okay, welcome back. So, first of all, let's take a look at the hull. So, there she is. Fairly big, actually very big, and um, to give you an idea, I'll put a couple of pictures up that I took. So the first one you see there is next to the 1700 scale Nimitz aircraft carrier. Yep, <laughs> and this photo you're seeing now is what it looks like next to the one 700 scale Bismarck. So we're looking at from one extreme to the other, <laughs> from smallest to biggest, eh? Anyway, so let's have a look at this hull, eh? Let me just um, take that foam off the ends and um, we'll have a look at some of the detail. Okay. So let's have a look down the length of the hull so you can see some of the detail. Uh -huh. Looking pretty good, eh? reach the end of it <laughs> as you can see it goes all the way down to the right to the bow I don't think there's any need to do the other side because it's going to be the same but uh, yeah there you go have a look at that detail there Just focus very crisp Looking nice, isn't it? Yeah. 
I wonder what that is there. See that? I can zoom in. Sorry, camera. See a little bit of a damage on the side of the hole there. Just noticed. That's okay. That may be intentional. This is uh, looking quite nice. Let's have a look at the underside now. There we go. I'll do my best to stay focused. Um, that little dent we saw before, it's exactly the same on the other side. So that's a, a deliberate thing by the looks of it. You can see all the detail along here in that hole. Look at that. Really nice, eh? Hey? How massive this thing is and how wide that is. <laughs> there you go. All the way up to the end there. So there you go. There's what you, you're going to end up with. Now we'll do a quick look on the inside of the hull. Okay, so as you can see, there's supports in both plastic and metal, which is good. Certainly um, not gonna be any um, flex or anything in this. It's gonna be one solid ship. Those were all in place. That's how it came. Those metal braces all the way up to the bow. All right. There you go. All right, so, uh, yeah. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I decided to do it on the bench on a towel because the light's better. And we can come in and have a look at some of the detail of the deck. You can see, looks pretty nice there, doesn't it? Run all the way along past the turrets. Pretty much flawless, really nice. Yeah, and then down to here. Swing back around. There it is. So there's the beautiful deck. There she is. How big is it? Well, there's my hand. So, yeah. It's a good size. <laughs> Let's have a look at the other. That's not even the whole deck. There's more. Let me just grab that. Okay, so now we're looking at the other piece of deck, which is the stern. And you'll see that it changes here to checker plate. Really nice detail in that. And it starts up here. There's the positioning points for the, um, I guess that's the float plane uh, uh, catapult. Not too sure, yeah. Look at the checker plate all the way around the, around there. Nicely detailed. It runs all the way back. I think that's just protecting the end, so I'm going to leave that on. And there's the underside, which is, yeah. I thought I'd show that. But as you can see, there's nothing to 
you don't have to worry about cutting any sprue bits off or anything like this this is ready to go straight on and again this size the size of this there you go quite large so you just go over here I don't know how that's gonna go on there somehow but it's massive <laughs> all right I'll be back in a sec okay so there it is guys the 1200 scale Yamato by monochrome uh, I hope you enjoyed this box opening and review and I uh, hope make your decision easier if you want to purchase and, and build this uh, magnificent ship um, yeah <laughs> what can I say it's massive isn't it so um, I have a few things on my uh, list before I get to this but yeah we'll be making on making a start on it at some stage is all I can say so um, thanks for um, for watching please comment below if you've got any questions or anything you want to add in the comments let us know um, the idea of all this was just to show um, what you get when you buy this kit and what it comes with which is pretty much everything you need. Um, I'm assuming later on there may be some aftermarket, maybe some decks will come out. Um, but it really, that's about all I can think that you would need. Uh, everything else is there with all the photo etch and, and stuff. Maybe brass barrels on the turret guns. Yeah. But anyway, yes, please comment below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Uh, so you get notified of the videos that are coming out in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks for all, thanks everyone for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.